Hey, Jay here. We're out here on our 19 YZ250F again, and a really good bike. So who's this bike uh, best for? And I, as a 50 year old, almost 50 year old, by the time this video comes out, I'll probably will be 50. Uh, that novice guy, it's just a really fun, amazing bike. So if you're looking to ride tracks a lot, I think this is a really good bike for you. We already rode this at the intro. Now we got more time on it. Today we're riding a really tough hill track that's really fast and bumpy. And it just feels amazing compared to even the faster guys that are riding 450s today are just bummed they're on 450s because the 250s you know faster on this rough stuff uh you can ride longer i did a really long moto the bike is amazing so a couple of things that i like the suspension stock which it is is probably one of the best stock suspension bikes i've ever felt like it's just crazy how good it is stock um i'm way over the weight of what the intended rider is for this bike and it feels really good i think i could ride it pretty well the way it is and be pretty happy um, the clutch for the bikes without a hydraulic clutch is pretty dang good it has a really good pull I still prefer a hydraulic clutch but it has a really good pull and the lever is a really nice ratio it feels really good and so I like that about the Yamaha I, I guess I'd probably prefer if it had a hydraulic clutch um, the electric starts really good um, of course really like that with my bad foot it's really nice not having to kickstart a bike and it's just really nice, nice not kicked on a bike. One of the things I don't like about it as much is it's really loud. Um, man, it's really loud and hard to get used to. I think once you get used to it, probably not a big deal, but this is an earplug bike. So really good 2019 YZ250F, uh, really nice bike. I'm gonna do some follow-up videos on this thing where we will probably look at doing some other modifications to it throughout the year, but so far it feels really good. The reports I'm hearing back, uh, super cross wise is the bikes are fairly durable the clutch is stronger than it has been in the past but i have heard some guys losing some transmission issues in whoops and what the, that does happen in a few bikes when they hit whoops third gear wide open through they'll they can break transit i'm not gonna be doing that obviously so i don't think we're gonna have any issues so i want to get some durability time on this thing i think the gearing is pretty good the way it is right now so i'm pretty happy with that we got our dunlop tires it doesn't come with dunlop way put uh mx 33 front and an MX-12 rear for this sandy conditions I have out here today, and that's awesome. I'll probably get the seat cover done soon. It's a little, even though it's a grippy material, you do slide more than our moto seats that will run. So those are things that make me feel comfortable. Probably switch the bars. So that's a really good quick look at this thing. Really good bike, I think, for a wide range of riders from a young motocross kid to the old guy like myself. So enjoy. Hopefully we'll see you out in the track or trail soon.